is gonna, is very powerful, you know, in changing lives. And I tell you why, because inside the prison system, they have what they call a, a victims and offender reconciliation uh, program inside, right? That's been happening for a long time. Whereas victims and the, the, the per perpetrators, they can actually sit together, you know, maybe direct victim or indirect victims, you know, I mean, of crime. So they can sit together, really have the the perpetrator understand the victimizer to listen to what the victim is going through. You know, what kind of emotion, how it affects the community. You know, that way they can understand, they can place themselves in another person's shoes, how they can, you know, understand the impact they created just because of their violent act. And the reason why is because when we, when we are in a community, you know, we are, we are victimized in many ways, right, by violence. You know, and especially when we talk about violence, you know, we talk, we talk about physical violence, and mental violence, verbal violence, sexual violence. You know, we gotta address all those violence. You know, not just uh, direct impact. So for a person who is inside, when most most of the time, I tell you this this the honest truth. Right? Most of the time, when we first got arrested, the first thing came to my mind is like, we're sorry. We're not sorry because of the things that we did. We're sorry because we got caught, right? But then it, when it, once you allow that process or to really look within, to really do a soul searching, you know, to be understand how much an impact that I have did to all my victims, how much pain and suffering I have created in my vic direct victims, as well as my own family, and to myself, and beyond that, how much it affects to the community, right? Because of that one single act, because maybe I was high, maybe I wasn't thinking, maybe I didn't have respect for myself or any other people suffering at that, at that age or at that stage, right? But then, because of someone like you, you know, who will come in to be able to have a dialogue with these people, then you are agent of change. You are able to let them know that, yes, you know, this is how I feel. And I don't appreciate that, I don't like it, you know? And this is what I would like to see happen. So that way, you can touch other people's lives, so hopefully they will understand the change. But see, change, it comes with time. It comes to different stages. Just because I am who I am today, I cannot expect you to be the same way. Right? Every one of us will reach a certain point in our lives at different stages in time. But if you allow that to process, you provide the necessary support and resources, it's gonna happen. Because we are part of a community. So that, that is very important. And you know, sometimes you have to be courageous. You have to be very courageous because it hurts, right? So one of, one of, the, things, uh, one of the things I wanna share with you is when I was, when I was in the penitentiary, you know, um, I, w I was talking to some of the academia people, you know, and we were, we were dialoguing, we come up with the ideas. You know how everybody, when you get hyped up in this revolution, you know, you want to, uh, over, you have a new system, you want to, you know, do all that, you get hyped up. But then you don't really understand. So people say, I'm willing to die for this, I'm willing to die for this. So the question comes back to me is, what are you willing to live for? You know, that's what is important. What are you willing to live for, right? So, so I wrote up like you know a very freestyle short poem you know where I said I live another day because I want to live the life that I'm dying to live. I have to live for something in order for me to die for something, so I live. Right. So that's my my philosophy. You know when it comes to you know dealing with about revolution. You know revolution doesn't have to you know the first revolution has to come from within. You know, I mean, if you can't get past yourself, man, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, what, what is the revolution, right? The revolution is right here, you know? Thank you for the question. But the other thing I wanted to say is that I really appreciate, you know, uh, Sun and Ben and Serena and even Josh. Josh actually used to come visit to us in the prison from UC Davis also, and you know, and obviously, John Kelly right there with the OG, you know what I mean? He's going to be turning, mm -hmm. how many, 50 years old? Mm -hmm. He's turning 50. Mm -hmm. you know, John and Jean, you know, Jean's in a, you know, Cairo's program, one of the programs in the prisons. You know, just, just people that who's really come together to give us a chance. You know what I mean? And because you guys gave us a chance, you allow us to give 10,000 people another chance. You allow, us, you allow us to be out here in the community to save lives, you know, because of you, right? Because of you that we are doing this type of work. Because of you that we have made a decision to dedicate our lives to service in the youth and service in the community. It is all because of you. Right? So I'm very proud of Rico and German because you know we, we grew up in a system, you know, we grew up in prison. 
You know, I mean, basically. But the thing is, a lot of prisoners that who come out, I don't care, you know, what, what ethnicity you are, they come out, all they want to do is, man, let me get my money. Right? I lost all these years, let me get my money, you know, let me get back to my life. Or some people say, man, I lost all this year, let me catch up, let me try to chase after the life that I've lost. Right? And then you have other people that will say, you know, I'm just going to lay low, you know, I'm, I'm not going to trip because I'm done with this, you know what I mean, I'm not going to get in trouble. Right? But these guys, you know, they come out and say, you know what, man, we're going to be vocal. You know, we're going to use our action. We're going to speak with our action. We're going to go out there to be an agent of change. You know what I mean? Now, that is admirable. You know what I mean? So for me, it's like, man, this is, a, this is the calling that we've all been waiting for. We just didn't know when we come into that crime. Right? Now we know. Now there's no going back because we are paying forward. See, that's the, the beautiful thing is, and the sad thing is, we never stop paying, right? For whatever crime that we committed, we never stop paying for the harm, you know? And regardless, of, we can save a thousand people. Right now, today, the seriousness of the crime will never change. But what changed is within each one of us. So Let's I, give the three of them a hand.